All right, updates first up from Bangladesh. Now, three days after Sheikh Hasina resigned as the Prime Minister of Bangladesh and fled to India, Nobel laureate Muhammad Yunus has been sworn in as the chief advisor of the interim government in the country. Now, his oath taking took place moments after he landed in Dhaka. Yunus was in Paris from where he returned to Bangladesh via Dubai. At the Dhaka airport, he was greeted by senior military officers and student leaders. In his first statement, Yunus promised to deliver a government that assures safety to its citizens. Bangladesh has been doing this for a long time. It has been 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 a long time. I have a long time. I have a long time. I have a long time. एवं कितने गोता जानते सीता देख के तारा अमर पासे आते Muhammad Yunus will head a 15-member team to lead the interim government. He called for the restoration of law and order after weeks of violence that left at least 455 people dead. He appealed to the citizens to guard each other, including minorities who came under attack. Muhammad Yunus also paid tribute to the youths who sparked the protest movement. And those who risk all for their desire for change. In the latest, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, the BNP, is demanding swift national elections, urging for the transfer of power to elected representatives promptly. During a rally in Dhaka, BNP leaders called for formation of an interim government and for fair elections within three months. BNP chairperson Khalida Zia, addressing the nation virtually after six years, emphasized the need to build a society of love and peace. And also for the first time since 2008, BNP acting chairman Tariq Rahman addressed a rally, urging for prompt national elections to fulfill the goals of the recent revolution. Symbolizing a significant moment for the BNP, Rahman's speech was broadcast amid cheers from thousands of activists. On the other hand, Sheikh Hasina's son, Sajib Bazed, has clearly stated that there is no democracy in Bangladesh without the Awami League. He alleged that the Awami League leaders are being targeted and added that Hasina will not give up following her ouster. I had said my family will no longer be involved in politics. But the way our party leaders and workers are being attacked, we cannot give up. Now, recently, Bangladesh has seen escalating violence, including a dramatic jailbreak in the Satkhira district, where, following an assault on the facility, 596 prisoners escaped. The unrest has had widespread impacts, including artists, military personnel, and other prominent personalities. Bangladeshi actor Shanto Khan and his father Selim Khan were beaten to death by a mob during the unrest in Bangladesh. Residents of various areas were on the streets the entire night to ensure security. Since in the absence of law enforcers, incidents of robberies were reported in various parts of Dhaka on Wednesday night. The protests and subsequent violence have also deeply affected various segments of society. There have also been reports of Hindu minority communities being attacked amid the chaos in Bangladesh. India is closely monitoring the situation on the borders. In the latest, reports suggest that all the India visa application centers in Bangladesh will remain closed until further notice. So as lawlessness, political wrangling and chaos grip the nation, all eyes are on Nobel laureate Mohammed Yunus. And given that, how Yunus navigates this volatile landscape will be under scrutiny in the days and months to come. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.